the pirates, I'm gonna be king. This movie was missed. I don't get where all the hype comes from for this movie. I'm happy for One Piece fans that got to get this movie and see this movie and get a theatrical release for it, but I don't see where all the hype comes from. What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here, and today we are back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about One Piece Film Red, a movie that I didn't know what I was getting when coming into this movie. In fact, I didn't see any type of trailer for it. The only thing I seen for this movie was the promotional movie poster and the thing that they had in Times Square, which was super dope in my opinion. But besides that, I didn't really know what this movie was about. All I saw was that Shanks was on the poster and some new girl that was made just for this movie was on the film poster as well. But besides that, I already knew going into this movie that this is about the Straw Hats going to an island and having to defeat some enemy. That's what One Piece is and that's why I've grown to love it for. Needless to say, when I've gone online, I've seen people raving and loving this movie. In fact, calling this a really great anime movie and I'm not gonna say it's not good, but I'm not gonna say it's not bad either. It's to me, it's in, it's in the middle. To me, it's mid. And I don't get where all the hype comes from. I'm glad that this movie did get a lot of promotion behind it and a lot of advertisement behind it. I don't get where the actual hype for the movie itself comes from. But before I actually talk about the movie because I am just coming out the theater and I'm giving you guys my my experience and I'm telling you things I liked and I did not like go ahead hit the subscribe button and hit that post notification bell like the video follow me on all my other social media platforms all my links will be in the description down below so mmm is that what they say? I really don't watch the anime for One Piece. So this is kind of like a newer thing to me where I actually get to watch some of that anime stuff for the One Piece movies. And I really haven't watched any One Piece anime since it came out in the 4Kids days. And I love One Piece now, but when it comes to the actual anime portion of One Piece, the only things I've really seen from it is the actual Stampede movie, which I really didn't like like that, and this movie itself. And I'm not really an anime One Piece guy. I really love the manga way more than any of the animation that it has to offer. But before we actually get into this movie review, before I give you my thoughts and what I think about this movie, go ahead, check the description for the timestamps in case you don't wanna hear certain things or you wanna just hear my pros and my cons. All that will be in the description down below. But let's go ahead and talk about the movie and this part is gonna be hard for me to talk about because I didn't see any trailers, so I don't know what was revealed to you guys itself. But all I can say is that Luffy meets his friend Yuta after a long, long time of him thinking that she's went missing and somehow she's become this pop idol like singer within the One Piece universe itself. So he meets her on this island and she's having a huge concert and problems ensue. You know, it's One Piece. You know, they go to an island, a problem happens, they solve the problem, they get off the island. That's the adventure of One Piece. And that's all I could give you because I don't know what was all revealed to you guys within the trailers because like I usually say in my Twitch streams, which if you haven't gone to the Twitch streams, link will be in the description down below. I don't really watch trailers nowadays because to me they give out too much of what's in the movie or some of the surprises you are going to be expecting at that point to be in the movie. So that's why I don't really watch trailers and that's why I don't know what was said to you guys. So that's all I'm gonna give you guys without spoilers because I know some people are very uh, are very anal about spoilers, you feel what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and talk about some of the things I liked in this movie and some of the things I did not like, but I'm gonna start off with my pros. So I'm gonna glizzy ride this movie a little bit, not too hard, <laughs> pause, but I'm gonna glizzy ride this movie a little bit. And the first pro I have is the actual animation itself. And let's be real, this movie was coming to theaters, it's a One Piece movie, and with what Wano has been doing recently, the animation was gonna be good. Even the CGI parts where she looks like a little bit of a hollow live character like in one of those music videos. Yuta looks really good doing that stuff as well and all the other CGI parts that they add, it's very minimal but you could kind of notice it a bit but it's not too jarring to where I'm like, oh, what is this? CGI in an anime movie? Get this out of here! I wasn't like that in the movie. And like I said, the CGI use was very minimal. Like, you could barely notice it itself. So, I do have to give the movie props on actually having a little bit of CGI use because I really don't like CGI in my anime movies, but it didn't really detract too much from the actual quality of the movie itself. Another pro I have is with the actual new character of Yuta. Her introduction, abilities, and inclusion in the movie is a welcomed one with a dope devil fruit power and her history and connection with Luffy and Shanks. I didn't know what I was getting into with this movie and I didn't know what to expect from Yuta, but I will say that she is definitely welcome within the One Piece universe itself and I did like her connections between Luffy and Shanks and their history and all what they had 
on the island that Luffy is from. Another pro I have is the more unique setting that this actual island has with itself, with it being this huge concert-like event happening that really hasn't happened in One Piece to my knowledge. Like I said, I don't watch the anime, so I don't know if there's any fillers like this, but honestly, the little concert thing that was happening, I thought that was pretty dope, and it made One Piece feel a bit modern in that aspect because it felt weird seeing a Hollow Live kind of like figure in One Piece. And that actually goes to my last pro, was that there's a very unique character within Yuta and herself, with her being like this Hollow Live idol-like character. Like, she looks like one of the idols that you see on YouTube doing the little music videos, and she does the little dances just like them. It felt very weird seeing that in a One Piece movie, but I was welcome to it. You know, I was open to it. And this is another thing that I want to talk about that's going to be in between the pros and the cons that I don't really know how to judge this and I don't want to put it as a pro nor a con, but the music selection itself, I heard that this movie has a whole album. My boy Chi Block actually told me this because that's who actually took me to go see this movie. There's a whole album for this movie, so this movie is going to be more of a musical type thing happening and you know it's not my type of music i'll say that that music is not my speed it feels like dance dance revolution happening loud in your ears that's all i'll say about the music but if you like hollow live idol hot snake miku like stuff you'll probably like the music in this movie right here but now that i'm done glizzy riding this one piece movie it's time for me to go ahead and talk about my cons and i have a lot more cons than i do pros for this movie so let's go ahead and get into the first con a lot of plot elements and scenes in this movie either felt extra unnecessary predictable or just didn't feel needed at all a lot of these plot elements that i really didn't like and that actually dragged kind of made the movie a bit longer than what it actually needed to be i feel like this movie could have been cut down to about 10 to 20 minutes shorter than what it actually is because i believe this movie comes out to about two hours but ooh, you can sometimes feel it and sometimes when you think it's about to end it goes on with the problem even longer, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're really doing this. We're really gonna elongate this. Oh. The second con I have with this movie is that the actual plot or the problem that this movie presents itself, which to me is very unoriginal, and it feels very inspired by one of One Piece's peers within the big three. Once you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, especially if you've seen one of the other big three that's kind of super huge in America. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it uses one of those plot elements and I'm just like, I feel like I've seen this already, which I already have, and I'm literally reading the series right now on the channel. I feel like I'm reliving this experience again and to me, it wasn't really done or executed well enough for me to really get down with this character doing it. My third pro has to be that this movie feels a bit like one of those early slash late 90s Disney movies where just like in The Lion King, they have some musical set pieces here and there sprinkled throughout the movie. This felt like this, and I'm not really coming to an anime movie for that, especially a shonen action movie. That's just not my speed. That's not what shonen action really has had within the past few years. And I get it. It's definitely something different. But something different doesn't mean something good. You get what I'm saying? This felt very Disney-esque, where the songs felt pure. It felt joyous. You know, the woman is singing her heart out. And I get it. That's cool. Like in the early 90s slash late 90s when it came to these Disney movies. I really wasn't jiving with the music in this movie. So that's definitely why that was a glaring issue for me when it was just set pieces like that sprinkled throughout the movie. I didn't really like it. And since we're speaking about the music, let me go ahead and tell you, since I saw this movie in the IMAX, which is a reason why this movie looks so gorgeous, the music is very loud. <laughs> the music was blaring in my ears. And like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of this music. So when I'm not really, you know, getting down with the music like that, it just sounds like a lot of loud noise happening in my ear. It just felt like I was putting Dance Dance Revolution on the max volume on the best headphones you could ever get with noise cancellation. Like, oh my gosh. I cannot hear anything else. Yeah, this music to me, it was just too much for my ears. Like I said, music is very subjective. So you guys, if you like that type of music, you're gonna love this, but it was very loud and I didn't really like it. To me, it didn't really feel at the same volume as the movie should have been. And just like with Stampede, it felt very fan servicey. It felt like a lot of the characters that we know in the One Piece universe all have a chance to come together and, you know, do something together, which it's cool in some aspects, but I feel like I already got that with Stampede. So seeing a lot of these characters again within this movie, eh, I really wasn't, you know, rocking with it. But when it comes to these One Piece movies, sometimes I expect to, you know, just stay with the Straw Hats and see the problems that they get into. And I know we get enough of that within the actual series itself, but sometimes I just want to see what the Straw Hats are like outside of the main story and just see them bonding and growing together. So I kind of expected that with this movie. I didn't expect for this movie to have such a grand cast within it. So this movie definitely feels fan servicey, but if you're a One Piece fan, you're going to love 
love this, but as a movie itself, I didn't feel like all the characters was needed, and they even included one character that I feel like didn't need to be in this movie at all. They literally put him into the movie in the last minute of the movie, and I'm just like, okay, I'm rocking with it. One Piece fans are happy to see this character. Pretty sure they haven't seen this character in years. I'm not happy with it. And my last confidence movie has to be with the actual fights itself. They were very disappointing. They were very bland, they were very short. None of them really had me like, you know, hyped up or ramped up, you know, on my seat or anything like that. And I know this is about to be blasphemous for someone who loves Dragon Ball Z and loves Shonen action. I'm not really into One Piece for the actual action itself. I'm into it more for the plot. I know, that's blasphemous. I, I know, I can hear you guys right now through the comment section or just yelling at your screen right now. But to me, One Piece to me doesn't really thrive well within the action department. To me, it thrives well within the storytelling itself. And the story, like I said already, it was cool. Like, it's not bad at all, but it's very predictable. I've already lived through these problems and seen them solved within a different series, so. To me, it just, I, I really wasn't rocking with the fights. To me, it felt like a whole bunch of fights here and there for mm, no good reason, honestly. And it was just boring overall. Overall with this movie, I gotta say that when I came out of this, I was waiting for it to end. <laughs> like, I felt like this movie was going on way longer than it should have. And I'm not gonna say this is a bad movie, like I said earlier, but I'm not gonna say this is a great anime movie. I honestly think that Dragon Ball Superhero that came out earlier this year is a better movie overall, like, as an actual movie itself. But this movie, I felt like it was just going on and on, just for the sake of going on. And when you kind of see some things coming that you wish was a surprise, but they aren't, and then they just start including other stuff just for fan service moments, it just didn't pan out well for me. So honestly, I'm probably gonna have to give this movie a six out of 10.